Hey beauties, it's Bex Thompson here. I'm just going to show you my face from this side um, because I can't flip the where the camera is mid-video, unfortunately. Today I wanted to share with you about geese. Bex Thompson here from Beer Beacon Programs for Women, showing you how to make more of an impact without compromising your health, your family, or your feminine. And one of the ways that we need to do this is by really nurturing ourselves. And ghee is one of the most beautiful things about Ayurvedic cooking. It's the oil that we use for cooking. You can also take it by itself for medicinal purposes. It really helps to calm and nourish the nervous system, as well as help any spices or medicines or the nutritional qualities of food to be really absorbed by the body. It's incredibly healing. So you can read up a little bit more on the benefits. Now, I've got four sticks of butter here, um, slowly melting away on the stove and you need to use unsalted butter the best quality you can get if you can't get organic we've found that the Audi butter works really well now I have a, an electric stove since I've moved and I haven't actually yeah I need to sort of play with the heat a little bit here see how it starts to kind of froth so ghee's clarified butter is when all of the impurities in the water from butter has been removed and once it gets to this point of just boiling, this is just unsalted butter, you want to turn this right down. So I'm going to turn my heat all the way down. Um, I much prefer to do this on gas. Now see how it's really frothing and bubbling. You want to keep doing this until it starts to go clear. Now I'm going to put this on pause because this might take a few minutes. It can take anything from 2 minutes to 10 minutes depending on the amount of water in your butter, depending on the heat, I reckon depending on the pan. But this is exactly what you want. You want this lovely frothiness without it going too crazy and coming right up to the edge of the pan. So I'm just going to put it on pause and I want to show you what it looks like once it's actually become clarified and what you're looking for. So you can see now, this is probably about five minutes later, that this is cackling away and I call it cackling because it's very different to the foaming that happened before. And this is close now to really separating so what happens is that all the impurities and the solids kind of fall away either to a scum on top or to the bottom and we're going to get clarity in that ghee in the melted butter in a moment so we'll just pause it here. it's not quite ready you'll see it become clear you can see it starting now cool so now we can, you can see underneath those bubbles that are not foamy anymore the kind of clear bubbles there's a clear amber liquid and let me just sort of separate that a little bit with a spoon for you so you can see the clarity that's come into that ghee and this is a slightly tricky bit where people can go wrong is they can overdo it and burn it or underdo it and they've still actually got a lot of cloudiness now if you've got a deep enough pan and i'm just gonna see if i can gently do this without spilling it while i'm videoing it is take my ghee to the edge and look at the bottom of your pan and see if you've got some solids there so see how i've got some browning at the bottom of the pan that's about enough done because if I go any further, I'm going to burn that. And you can see some other creamy bits. That's all the solids at the bottom. And we're going to be able to strain that out. So I have a strainer set up over here. So it's just literally a sieve and a clean Jax cloth. And we're just going to strain it out in here. And I'll show you what it looks like when we've done that. Cool. So here's what it should look like. You have some solids left in your cloth. And you have a browned bottom of pan with all those sort of solids, yeah, underneath. And when we lift this out and just give a little bit of a shake see it all coming through there one two three and here we go we've got this beautiful golden clear ghee and we're going to pour that into some very clean jars and they will last basically forever it's said to last forever if you don't put a dirty spoon in that jar of ghee this can last forever now you don't need to keep it in the fridge you can just keep it by the stove and um yeah last for as long as you need it for so enjoy. Check out all the more benefits on ghee. You can find lots of information about it online. But lots of people have asked me about how to make it, thinking that it's really, really difficult. And it's not. You do just need to watch the heat, depending if you're on gas or electricity. But um, yeah, there it is. Beautiful stuff and a lot cheaper and a much more beautiful than getting it in the shops. Enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below.